past, it has gone through a lot of changes. And he wondered why did I make so many different choices. So I told him that indeed I've made a lot of different choices along the way. Well, you can understand as my ROM R O M has been refreshed quite a lot of times, and these are the transformations that I have gone through. The first transformation happened when I was still at Kingsoft. I was only 28, and I'm the second person from left. I was a passionate programmer, and back then I thought that's my life career. In 1998, Mr. Chiu asked me to become the CEO. Perhaps you don't believe me when I tell you that. I actually said no. And then Mr. Chiu persisted. I thought, well, let me give it a try. Maybe when they find someone better, I could go back to become a, to to continue to be a programmer. But something happened. A colleague was、uh, actually helping me organizing my、uh, backup hard drive. Accidentally, he formatted my entire hard drive. All the programs. That I had written was gone overnight. I still remember his name, Liu Guangming. So there was no option. I couldn't go back to be a programmer anymore. So I started to study sales, marketing, commerce, and my life changed. I started to embark on a completely different life journey. It was probably a choice that was forced upon me. You could say the second transformation happened in 2007 when I decided to become a、uh, professional angel investor. It's sort of related to my experience on of launching Joe Yu. Com. I don't know how many of you still remember that website, which was actually established 21 years ago in the year of 2000, and it was the largest e-commerce back then. But it was a very difficult journey. We couldn't get enough finance, so we sold it to Amazon. It was. Very difficult for entrepreneurs back then. We had no idea how to be entrepreneurs. We had no idea how to get money. So after Kingsoft became listed, I left and became a dedicated and professional full-time angel investor because I wanted to help more entrepreneurs with my. Contribution, so that their dreams could be realized. That's why I became an angel investor. I wanted to aid their dreams. I wanted their efforts and their dreams to be realized easier than mine. Even until now, many people ask me, "Do you regret selling Joyo.com?" And determinedly, I answered, "No." After saying this, very few people can understand how painful it is for an entrepreneur to sell his own business. Three years ago, I went to Seattle and visited Bezos. And when we met, he told me that sorry, I didn't take good care of your Joyo.com. At that moment. I feel so much pain in my heart. And the third big change to me was in 2016. In 2016. Xiaomi encountered a great challenge. 
sales of uh, Xiaomi smartphone drops drastically, and also the reputation of the company was also declining. At that desperate moment, we decided that I will be in charge of the smartphone business of Xiaomi. At that time, I always got off work after 12 o'clock p.m. This is why it is so influential to me. Think about it. As a person with background from software and uh, computer, and I had to be in charge of a hardware department. There is, there were a lot of makeup I have to do. So on one hand, I had to learn. On the other hand, I had to urge the whole team to learn. For we started with just 100 people, and step by step, we come to today. So in the past five years, I always talk about making up things you don't know. We have to know what you are capable of, and you have to know the gap between us and the bigger companies in the world. But I am sure that we can always learn, and we can always do it. As long as we want to do it, we will be able to do it. In five years, when the sales of uh, Xiaomi smartphones went back to top three in the world, do you know how excited I was? Until today, in less than five years, we have already had a powerful engineer team, and I believe this team will become stronger and they will develop better products in the future. Therefore, in the speech on the 11th August last year, we mentioned three rules in Xiaomi. Technology is the foundation and we have to have the honest price and we have to develop the coolest products. We believe Xiaomi will present more better product to all the Mi fans who have supported Xiaomi along the journey and you will see we became more become more successful on the journey of technology. So far, I feel that uh, I can be called a preliminary expert on hardware and more and more I know how difficult it is to develop hardware, but I still believe the integration of hard and software should be even 10 times more difficult than just focusing on hardware or software. Therefore, from a programmer to, a, to an entrepreneur, and from an entrepreneur, I became an investor, and uh, from the software industry, I came to the hardware industry. All these are uh, radical transformations of my life. All these major changes in my life, some of them are forced upon me. Some of them are choices I made. But when I recall, no matter what kind of change it, change it is, it always needs courage, strong will, as well as strong ability to learn, as well as the resilience to overcome the pain. After all, when you are getting into a new world, the reputation, the pride, your network and your knowledge in the past will be gone. The only thing you can rely on is nothing but a heart that wants to move on, that wants to move forward. I thank all those tests and pains. Without those tests and pains, I won't become the person I am today. Constant changes, constant transformation can, will only give you a more interesting life. Therefore, I grow the habit of uh, jogging recently. I like to jog under the sunlight to feel the beauty of life and welcome the challenges in my life. In the past two and a half months, it was a difficult time for me because we will welcome another transformation.
In 2013, I met with Elon Musk twice. That year,、uh, I also became an owner of Tesla, and I started to pay attention to the electrical vehicle business. I always emphasize on the importance of electrical vehicle. In the past seven to eight years, I invested in ten EV companies. To be honest, car manufacturing is a popular topic. And during the executive meeting of Xiaomi, we also had several rounds of discussion on it. Back then, our topic is to make up for the deficiencies and lay a solid foundation. And we want to fully understand the hardware. So back then, we are wholly dedicated to our core business. On the 15th January this year, the board of directors suggested us to learn about the prospects of、uh, electrical vehicle. At first, I want to say no to it because we invest five years to develop our smartphone business, and we have gone through so many difficulties. And finally, we became number three in the world. And we haven't finished the wall in the smartphone business. Will the electrical vehicle business become a distraction? So, facing the trend of the time, how should Xiaomi make its own choice? No matter how reluctant I am, on the 15th January this year, we started our investigation in car manufacturing. I heard suggestions from many friends. A large group of friends urged me to start the manufacturing of cars. I even asked, "Why do you think I can manufacture cars?" They say that Xiaomi has been an expert. On hardware and internet, and there is no reason for you not to cre-、uh, not to manufacture vehicles. And they also say, think about it. All your peers and competitors are manufacturing cars. You don't want to miss the opportunity. And I told them, I also need to develop smartphones. The war of smartphones has not finished. But they told me, think about it. Maybe smartphones and electrical vehicles are the same thing. Think about the ecosystem, and I said maybe this needs some imagination. And during this investigation, I also heard some interesting ideas. Some say the smart electrical vehicle is like a smartphone with with four doors. So finally, I find the connection between smart vehicle and smartphones. And also, there are many people who. T- Who told me not to do this? And they have clear reasons, and、uh, they are also out of、uh, kind will. They say the car industry is a sophisticated and complicated industry with huge investment in it. You always have to invest ten or hundreds of billions of、uh, Chinese yuan or U.S. dollar to it, and you can easily fail in it. You are not an expert on it. It is very easy for you to fail. Also, people say your peers have been developing smart vehicles for five or six years. Maybe it is too late for you to start this business at this moment. So now you know the problem for me: to do or not to do. This is a question. This is a very, very important decision for me. During the day, I can come up with 100 reasons to do it, but at night, I can also come up with 100 reasons not to do it. So this has been a difficult time for me. There are a lot of thoughts on my mind. I start to think when we get into the smartphone business. When we start the business, we had nothing. All our competitors are tycoons in this industry. After ten years of hard efforts, we still created all these all, those, all these achievements we made. 
And now we are a Fortune 500 company with 30,000 employees, and we are much better than we were back 10 years. What is my main concern? I thought about it for a long time. That is, today, are we still brave enough like we were 10 years ago? Are we still determined enough like 10 like we were 10 years ago? And uh, do we have enough energy and dedication like we had 10 years ago? So this is my main concern. As I think about it, my me fans give me the biggest support, the strongest support. I still remember at the end of last year, we had an activity called the New Year Wish of Leijing. I said I will fulfill the New Year Wish of three me fans. The ID of one me fan is called Pirate of the Caribbean. He said he wants to drive the trailer of uh, Xiaomi, which is decorated by the Xiaomi smart home products, and he wants to travel around the world. And I said yes, because I thought this is a great idea. And uh, the whole engineer team worked for three months, and uh, they developed this product. Inside are all the smart home products of Xiaomi. I never thought the first vehicle produced by Xiaomi could be a motor home. I think many me fans are also fans of vehicles. So, I've been thinking, as long as me fans want it, we need to develop it and produce it. Before the Spring Festival, we have another activity with me fans. We invited some representatives from me fans, and we had a Spring Festival feast. It took us some time because they did feel a lot about Xiaomi, and one me fan even shed tears, and I was awkward at that moment. But overall speaking, we learned a lot, and um, we were moved by them. One thing is that a me fan gave me a gift. This is the gift, a book. I also bring this book to today's launch events. This is the book. It's quite thick. So this book includes the orders made by this me fan in the past six years. We counted in past six years, he spent 350,000 RMB on Xiaomi products. What really touched me is not the amount of money he spent, rather, is what he said to me when he gave me this book. His name is Wu Xiangyu. He said to me, and this is what truly touched me. He said, I always believe in Xiaomi. This bears witness to how I've been growing up with Xiaomi. There has been a lot of buzz about the electric vehicles of Xiaomi. My friend tells me that he is also very interested in our vehicles. 
Oh, that's a friend of mine, and he told me as long as、uh, Xiaomi makes cars, he buys it. Wu Xiangyu was here yesterday at the product lunch, but I wasn't feeling very well, and the product lunch、uh, is extended to today.、Uh, that's unexpected,、uh, and、uh, unfortunately, he had to fly back to Shanghai this morning because he already had a flight ticket bought. But he changed his flight ticket and got another day off from work, and he is here today as well. Could you please stand up, Wu Xiangyu? Let's wave to the camera. Thank you for coming. When Mi fans tell me these stories, I am truly moved. They tell me, as long as they dare to make things, they buy the things we make. A lot of people have been expecting cars from Xiaomi, and before the product launch, we did a survey on the、uh, Weibo account. I think around 20,000 people participated, and 92 percent people said they will buy Xiaomi cars when they are launched. I don't know how to repay the trust given to me. I've been wondering why do people want us to make cars, and why do people think we can definitely make good cars? What do you think? I really thought hard about these questions, and I think、uh, I found an answer. In the past 11 years, Xiaomi has launched so many products. So people believe that Xiaomi can make a car that impresses, right? And people believe that Xiaomi already has the most complete smart ecosystem, and with the support of Mi fans from across the globe, as long as we make things, they will be sold, right? As、um, the CEO of Xiaomi, I have been thinking how I can live up to the expectations of so many. I know the risks that this endeavor entails, and also know that the investment is at least tens of billions, and I won't see any results in the next few years. At the same time. I know Xiaomi is a different company from the small startup ten years ago that had only three to five people. Today, we have accumulated a lot of wisdom and experience, and it is time for us to try the waters. What do we have? We have money. More importantly, we have over 10,000 people in R&D, and we will add another 5,000 to the R&D team. We have a top-notch R&D group. We also have a smartphone business that ranks top the world as top three smartphone company, and we have the most complete smart ecosystem in the world. Truth be told, we also can afford to lose. The figure on the screen is 108 billion RMB. It's the cash reserve of Xiaomi Group by the end of 2020. That was published in the financial statement of ours for the year of 2020, and with that amount of cash reserve, if we don't. Still try, and we would be disappointing our Mi fans. In the past 75 days, we had 85 visits, and we had in-depth exchanges and communications with senior experts in the automotive industry, with over 
200 uh, experts, and we had four internal managerial discussions and two formal board meetings. Uh, and in, in the past uh, three to four months, there has been a lot of rumors because how active we have been. On and finally, the most decision of Xiaomi Group is here. Xiaomi officially enters the smart electric automotive industry. That's a decision made by the board today. That's the announcement that we would like to make today. You probably already seen this announcement. It's short and brief, but it contains a lot of information. First, we inv will invest 10 billion U.S. dollars in 10 years. In other words, the managerial team can mobilize 10 billion U.S. dollars for the smart EV industry of Xiaomi Group. So that's our dedication, 10 billion U.S. dollars. And that's going to be the registered capital of this uh, subsidiary. Do you understand? This is just the capital that we commit to, and that's the cash reserve of the Xiaomi Group, which will be used for the smart EV. And perhaps what you didn't notice is for a better and more comprehensive smart ecosystem for our main fans, we decide that the subsidiary of EV will be wholly funded by Xiaomi Group. So it is a wholly owned subsidiary of ours, and I've received a lot of messages from my friends asking me whether they have a chance to invest in the subsidiary. And actually, in the past two months and a half, a lot of investors and big names proposed great ideas to me about investment. And after a lot of hard deliberations, we decided that for smartphones, and ecosystems. We need them to be there 100% to bring seamless experience for me fans. And I will be the lead of this wholly owned subsidiary on Smart EV. I will be the CEO of the company. And those are the three layers of information contained in that brief yet informative announcement. Now you understand where our heart lies, from smart devices to smart home to smart office and smart mobility. With the power of technology, Xiaomi aims to provide me fans across the world with a full range of products that enables a more beautiful tomorrow and a better life, and that is the fire and passion that we have at our hearts. And I really hope that one day there will be a Xiaomi car on each and every street, and I can hear Xiaomi engines everywhere I go. And I truly believe that each and every me fan is immersed in happiness brought by Xiaomi products today. With premium smart EV, we want global users to enjoy ubiquitous intelligence and smartness in life. That is our true mission. And I decide to lead our new adventure, and this will be the last entrepreneurship in my life. I um, deeply understand what this decision means to me. I am willing to put all the stakes I have accumulated over the years and fight for Xiaomi EVs. 
This decision means that in the next five to ten years, we will fight a hard battle and prepare everything that we can, and with all the patience and dedication for this new journey of ours. Some once asked me, "Will I be under a lot of pressure?" What I want to say is, since I made the decision, I no longer care about pressure. What I have in mind is whether Xiaomi has the capacity to make products that truly impress and benefit our Mi fans. To make a good car. Actually, we have confidence in that, and for the EV industry, we are a、um, latecomer without much experience. But we have amazing learning capacity, and we have such a fantastic team of engineers, and we're willing to devote our energy and time for success. And I believe success will definitely come to Xiaomi cars. As long as you are willing to wait, so long as you want to wait with us with patience, we will do everything we can to deliver our promise and to deliver Xiaomi EVs to your face. Okay. April six is just done. One week away, that will be our eleventh birthday. In the past eleven years, we've understood the meaning of growth. The theme of the product launch tonight is alive, and why this theme? I have a story to tell. Alive is about positivity. Optimism and perseverance. It is continuous pursuit of innovation and vigorous hope. A life is when everyone is engaged, involved in promoting the world and advancing the world to a better tomorrow with magnificence. That is Xiaomi. That is our common aspiration, our aspiration to greatness, and we have every courage and every optimism for a living future and for a beating future, a future with beating hearts. Well, due to my personal reason, the product lunch is split into two days, and because、uh, of my personal reason, we were not actually able to、um, show you every greatness of the new products. And here, I would like to offer my sincere apology. I hope you can understand. Thank you very much. For being part of the two-day new product launch, including our Mi fans, our guest representatives, as well as our friends from media, thank you very much. Now we have concluded today's new product launch. Thank you very much. See here, may feel a little like science fiction.
magnetic radiation. science fiction. But this is not fiction. This is technology. This is where smartphone communication performance is tested. All global mainstream operator networks are tested here. This is the Sarla. It simulates the effects of electromagnetic radiation on the body, leading imaging expertise, enhanced by remote tuning. An anechoic chamber, exploring the limits of human hearing. Thousands of ambient light conditions to create the best of displays, overcoming challenges through unrelenting effort. Through perseverance and dedication, wisdom and craftsmanship, just to exceed your expectations. This is the birthplace of Mi 11. These are Xiaomi Laboratories. This is Xiaomi Technology Park. fan for one and a half years. I am an English teacher and in my free time I also like to make a movie. I also believe in the future of uh, smartphone filmmaking. It's going to boost independent films and give chance to people who wouldn't have the chance before. Having that little bit of free time and committing it to something I feel very really strongly about. It makes me feel like I'm at my very special place to which I was born for. If you believe in passion and never give up, you will be surprised by what you can achieve. science fiction. But this is not fiction. This is technology. This is where smartphone communication performance is tested. 
All global mainstream operator networks are tested here. This is the SAR lab. It simulates the effects of electromagnetic radiation on the body. Leading imaging expertise, enhanced by remote tuning. An anechoic chamber, exploring the limits of human hearing. Thousands of ambient light conditions to create the best of displays, overcoming challenges through unrelenting effort. Through perseverance and dedication, wisdom and craftsmanship, just to exceed your expectations. This is the birthplace of Mi 11. These are Xiaomi laboratories. This is Xiaomi Technology Park.